Morning shop talk, huh? And it looks like we're live on Facebook now. If you're if you're watching it on Facebook, you can use a comment. Get a little know reconnected that. here. You, you can hear it. Lost me. It's working. Uh, my audio is coming in. And Nick, you talked for a second too. There we go. Okay, my internet was a little wonky right there for a second, but I think I'm all right. Yeah, talk about like you? you know in the in this world of lives, how important it was to have your internet sorted before the pandemic and no one could come out and fix it, you know? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What I was just telling Pat for all of you that are, that are on here is, um, you know, my internet was so slow this morning and then I go and I ask my wife and two of my, my daughters are online on zoom calls, like yeah. getting taught from their teachers. Right. And so we have like just extraordinary bandwidth being used at the same time. You yeah. know what I mean? So anyways, the extraordinary times that we live in, Totally true. The, the extraordinary, yeah. Um, I'm just asking. All right, so, yeah, so are we good on, can you guys hear us on Instagram? Instagram? Yeah. Instagram, we're good. Instagram, I just Instagram we're good. About, Facebook. Comment for Taylor, tell me. Okay. Yep. Um, do you have any Do you have any announcements? I, I, I have one small side there's rant, so, um, but if you want to go right there's honestly, there's, there's, there's so many announcements. There's so many announcements to make. I think the most important one up front, you know, because we've kind of just been having this this weekly uh, update on art sales, right, on the platform and what's going on in the industry. Mm -hmm. So we ended. Yep. Uh, we ended last month. We reported this already, but to say it again, we ended April with 134 percent growth um, in April 2020 when compared to April 2019. Uh, of artist sales from their own websites. Unbelievable, just totally unbelievable yep. how art is selling right now if you are in the right place and you online and you know how to do it and what to do, right, from a marketing standpoint. So the next big metric was, we just had our weekly metrics meeting, as you know, right? And last week, which yeah. included, remember the, the, the first day of the month was Friday, right, um, of May. And so last yeah. week, Sunday through Saturday is how we measure. Um, the sales of that period compared to 2019 were up over 200%, over 200%. I mean, did you almost fall out of your chair again when you saw yeah. that number? Everybody was just, you yeah. gotta be, it's, it's getting higher, it's growing. And then the other metric that we saw on there, now that April finished up, right? We looked at the total sales and the total yep. sales from the artist websites in April was um, was basically the exact same as November of 2019, which is a month that includes the entire Black Friday tactical, right? Yep. And, um, and, 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 and it was right below, like literally, I think it was like $5,000 or something below December. It was almost nothing. And yep. so we are literally, the artists uh, and photographers on our platform with their own websites that are executing and are taking advantage of it, you know, um, are, are, are seeing basically Q4, like the biggest art selling time of the year is the fourth quarter of the year. They're seeing Q4 yep. volume right now. Yep. You know, it's unbelievable. So yep. that's the, that's the annou announcements on the art is selling side. Uh, do you have any comments on that? Yeah, I mean, it, it would, it's just going to lead right into my rant, right? Which is this explosion that we're seeing in video is is changing everything. And, you know, Zuckerberg called it video presence, right? And in, 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 in platform agnostic, it's not just about lives or it's not just about um, Facebook Live or Instagram Live or YouTube Live or a Zoom call or a, a, a FaceTime chat. It's just video is the presence, right? It's the platform. And it's completely changed our business. We're coming off the biggest month we've ever had in the history of the company in the middle of a pandemic when the economy is crashing. That makes no sense. Couple that, not only are individual sales the biggest ever, but all of the artists and photographers on our platform the biggest ever. Why? Why? How is that even possible in a pandemic? And I would put it all back to video. It doesn't matter whether it's you know, the growth of our business, these video chats and people finding out about us and feeling more comfortable and wanting to do business with us. But as a result of having all of our customers in regular Zoom calls, where we are actually hand-to-hand -hand combat coaching them on the marketing techniques and the tactics, and because we've been at that now for a month, our customers, it's probably like some 2,000% increase 
in the marketing they're actually doing in their businesses and the sales are the sales are holding up and that is just profound like yeah. not only is it profound like let's take a deep breath and, and thank god for how blessed we are okay because there's there's no the fact that this is all happening and not just for us as a business but for our customers like amazing the fact that amazing the, the, amazing and, and and like you know we keep like pinching ourselves and just saying like is this real is this real is this real i think like it's so important to just take a moment and be so thankful for it so utterly yeah. totally and completely thankful for it um yeah and, and jorge jorge says photographers are artists too i hate that jorge i hate that whole thing i like we just want one keyword to keep things simple artist right but everyone jorge, automatically the reason the brush oh my gosh jorge we agree one thousand percent the only yeah. reason the only reason that we ever use photographers and artists, and we use it all the time, let's just settle this right now. The only reason is because when we use artists, photographers say, it looks like you don't work with photographers. I don't, you know, it, it, I, you guys probably don't, you can't help me. And it's like, oh my goodness. So we have to say photographers and we put, say photographers and artists. And then the photographers say, hey, I'm an artist. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it, look, it's a keyword thing. It's a marketing thing. We're going to keep doing it. It doesn't matter. So don't worry. Yes, you are an artist. We totally agree, hundred yeah. percent. Yep. Um, um, yeah. So anyway, anyway, the, the, the explosion of video. Just to just to finish the abstraction on that, like it started everywhere, and everyone is figuring this out at the same time, right? And so you know, Nick and I are huge nerds. We read all the tech guys, follow all the whole startup scene, and there's like multiple instances from multiple different countries, companies in various different spaces where, as a result of this. Everyone is getting nimble. Everyone is talking to their customers a, a whole lot more. They're being, getting closer to their customers, right? They're having these chats and it's revolutionizing the businesses. Everyone, as a result of getting closer to their customers, is, is growing their businesses in new and profound ways that were not possible. So what's the abstraction? Our customers, like the hand-to-hand -hand combat. I mean, you posted that one. You know, we, we have this, for, for those of you that are not customers, we have this um, private Facebook group for all our members. And it ends up being, you know, like a rah-rah forum, right? Because everyone goes out, does their marketing and posts their wins and everyone else gets all fired up and everyone's encouraging everybody, which is awesome. And one of the things that we've been teaching is this hand-to-hand -hand combat where you don't automate things. You do things that don't scale. You know, you, you, you write an email to a new subscriber and say, hey, thanks for joining. I just want to introduce myself. And where I was going with that is the, the ability to the artist and the photographer to let a new subscriber know, let a follower, let a fan know, hey, I'm here to chat with you on video. I'd love to talk to you about the inspiration behind this piece. I'd love to show you the piece. And now it's now it's filtering down to that level as well. And every single solitary one of us has such an opportunity with getting closer to our customers, getting closer to their buyers, your buyers, and showing them yourself on video, saying I'm real, here's what my inspiration is, here's what my motivation is, here's what you can learn from it. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Yep, exactly. And on that, on that note, um, the other announcement, since we're talking about all of this and the yeah. memberships that um, we had, we had unprecedented uh, demand for people to join our storefronts last month. We couldn't get back to everybody, not even close, not even close, right? Yeah. Um, pretty much everybody. We got some angry people and I'm sorry. Yes. In the last, in the last week, we just couldn't, yeah. it, the demand is, was just through the roof. And so we decided to extend the pandemic relief sale that we were running, basically just a, a big discount on art storefronts. Um, and uh, uh, that was running in April and we decided to extend it for all of May. Now, if you are interested in joining, make sure you get in a demo request as quickly as possible. Do not wait until the end because you don't wanna be uh, one of the people who's who didn't get a spot because the spots are already filling up. Like the next like two weeks is already, I think, completely filled up, right? So requesting a demo will get you in the queue, get in it if you've thought about being a member um, and one of the people from our outreach team will, will get back to you. Um, yeah, and we extended the sale. So it's the exact same discount, exact same everything, great time to join. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's that's one of the, that's a, the major announcement I wanted to get across. Make sure everybody knew that who, who, who missed out or who was wondering or has been waiting. Um, yeah, aside from that, I got a pretty big update to talk to talk to you about that a feature update, you know, yep. something that something that uh, that you're going to love. Um, and it's um, and it's called automatic art. Before, before, you, before you do that, let me tee you up. You know, 
it's it's a really interesting advantage that we have at our storefronts as a platform is Nick is actually the head coder. He actually wrote the software himself. He is the coder. So we have the ability, why I say this is such a, uh, an advantage for us is we have the ability to update and change our platform almost instantaneously. This is where we kill all of our competitors because all of our competitors are giant cruise ships, right? When they try to make a turn or they try to make an update, they have to like, we're a speedboat. And so <laughs> Nick came up with this idea, decided it was a good idea, spent the entire day, and now it's live on our platform. And that happened in the Yeah, week. so it's like, no one else yeah, yeah, and we, like, I'm the architect of this whole thing, right? But, and we have a team of developers, but there's just times when you just have to get something done Mm -hmm. And you, you, you have the specific knowledge about it. And so you just have to do it, you know, and this yeah. is one of those things like, so let's go back to it. Automatic art SEO search engine yeah. optimization automatic. Yeah. What does that mean? And by the way, for any art storefronts members who are listening to this, this is already live. Okay. We're going to talk about it in one of the workshops coming yeah. up here this week. Um, probably tomorrow. Water, 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 water plus ink is on. So this is already live in your store. It's already live. We're, we're gonna we'll show we'll show it on tomorrow, right? We'll show it. We'll show it to you in the yeah. private member workshop tomorrow or Thursday. But automatic art SEO, it's done. Now, why did this come about? It's come about because of all these misconceptions that Pat and I have been talking about. You know, um, the the misconception of oh, I'm just gonna launch a website and I'm gonna do SEO right? Search engine optimization. And all of a sudden I'm going to show at the top of Google and I'm going to get all this traffic, you know, and, and it's going to be so easy. And what, this is what like so many photographers and artists think when they're going to start their business and they have no idea that SEO stopped working like 10 years ago. Right. And it is the lowest ROI return on investment activity that you could do. We literally are telling our, our members not to do it at all because there's better stuff to spend your time on. Not the thing that everybody thinks that that's what they do, that any person sitting behind a computer, you know, on their couch can just type some letters in on their, on their, on their, uh, for every page. And all of a sudden, like, they're going to have, like, it's going to be like an ATM machine spitting out money, right? Yep. It's, we have ranted on this. There's a, you know, rant on our YouTube page. We talk about it all the time, all but right. it, 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 it's driven us so crazy, right? like just to stop people from wasting their time on that, on stuff that doesn't work, right? Yeah. Um, that, that uh, you know, I had the idea like, you know what? I built a business off SEO. You know, that my first company, Breathing Color, 2003, I built it off of SEO. So I became an SEO expert in that whole thing, right? And yeah. I was like, I know exactly how all this stuff is. What I, like, what we're gonna do is we're gonna SEO every one of our customers' website automatically so that they don't have to ever do it at all, right? And it's gonna be better than what they would ever do on their own. And guess what? They don't have to do anything at all, right? And yeah. so we got that all done this weekend um, and it's already live. So, so nobody has to do a thing. You don't even have to think about it. You don't even have to touch it. You don't have to ask about it. When you are an Art Storefronts member, your SEO is done for you and it's better than anything else that you could do on your own. Okay. Now, and SEO is SEO is a big SEO is a big topic. So you should define what you what you mean when you say SEO. What do you mean when you, specifically? Search engine optimization, right? So somebody types something into Google, you know, like uh, you know, like Austin City City Skyline Arts, right? And yep. you want to show up in that search result, preferably, right, in some way. Yep. And and so you need to view your your website is essentially like an encyclopedia and there's a way that you can provide information to Google, Yahoo, like any of the bots, right? These, the Google bot, yep. the, the search engine spiders is what they're called, so that you can tell them what your site is about. Now, they know what your site is about because they're, they're, they're scanning all of your HTML anyway, like they're reading your pages, you know? But yep. there's certain areas where you can communicate to them what you want to communicate to them and it makes it even be easier for them to organize right so like instead of like just scanning through a book you know on their own with a with a machine you know it's nice if the author says this is the title you know this is the description of this page this is the intention of this page right yeah. out of everything all the information you're reading this is the intention of this page and then also um so so that's one thing so like Having a like making it easy for Google to index it and understand what the site is about and what every page is about, 
and what every image and what every product is about. So all of that is getting done. And then in addition to that, you want to make sure that the, in the search results, right, there's always a title and then there's like, you know, two sentences of text in a Google search, right? Like that's what you'll see. That's all they show. So you want to make sure that that two sentences of text is really enticing to get someone to click on it to come in and shop on your page, right? And so we've written all of the text um, to make it so that it's enticing uh, for the buyer or the shopper that has intent and they're looking for something, you know? And so again, we'll go over it in detail, but the point is like, I mean, to save that workload and to have that done and to just check that box and never have to worry about it again, what a dream, dude, what yep. a dream. And and, you know? and, and, and and perhaps most important, you want to know why it's a dream? Because it's not the highest ROI use of your time. It is not the exactly. highest ROI use of your marketing energy, thought, brain space, whatever you want to call it. Like we need to keep you focused on the marketing. So if any of this knucklehead stuff that we can just take off your plate, that's that's perhaps the most important. That's it is the most important, right? And so it's it's just done for you. And every time you upload a new image, you don't even have to think about it, it's just all done automatically. Right for the art industry, specifically for selling art, right? And yeah. it's all done and automated. This is this is like another one of the, re, like the benefits of being on an art specific platform, right? Like just like all of the, of course, there's the, the proper art gallery website and you need all the proper art gallery website features for your customers, right? Like yeah. to provide the best art buying experience to your own customers. But this is one of those other things that's just, that we get to do as a uh, as an art specific platform that's like you know the SEO is all done for you specifically to be for like an art gallery website to sell art and that's just that's just amazing so that was another that's one of the big announcements and we've got a, we've got a bunch of people on water plus and Gretchen's on uh, Kim Zavi of Peter Rass on all you guys gotta um, check this thing check the office hours out tomorrow where he'll go into detail and he'll show all the things that it does and um, even if you can't attend tomorrow. Um, normal time tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific, then the replay will be available afterwards. And I think we're going to cover it right at the top. Um, and then, by the way, this is also awesome, too. Um, we're bringing John Lechner in to talk about Facebook ads uh, tomorrow because, you know, I I, I I am not a dictator despite wanting to play one on TV, right? <laughs> I tell everybody, no cold Facebook ads. Everybody just keeps running the cold Facebook ads. So <laughs> John John Lechner, who's this guy, uh, for people that aren't customers that don't know, John Lechner's uh, a member photographer and he runs a couple of art storefronts installs, one for himself, I think he's got two, and then he's got um, this Australian artist that is just, the work is insane, it's amazing. That you, it, it's, it doesn't even look real, it's so good. And he runs her site. And then he sort of morphed into like a consultant. And, you know, I'll, I'll say this on the rant tomorrow, but what's so interesting about Facebook ads and running Facebook ads, okay, it's it's the analogy I would give. It's sort of like knowing how to cook, right? And let's say Nick and I have run over $2 million in Facebook ads, okay? And if you take it into the cooking analogy, it's sort of like we know how to cook Mexican food, Nick and I, right? Which is running Facebook ads. And we're really good at cooking Mexican food. We've been classically trained. We know all the sauces, all the knives that you need, all the prep techniques, everything. But we're running it for our business, right? And so it's sort of like John Lechner is over there cooking French food. And that's baseline, small, just getting started, artists and photographers. And so, you know, we can we can run $2 million worth of that. So we're damn good Mexican cooks, right? We cook really, really good Mexican food. But if we tried to jump into the kitchen and start cooking French food, it probably wouldn't come out stupendous, right? Not Certainly not as good as someone that's doing it all day long. And so that's, well, like, he's the, doing that's it like the analogy. With yeah. like, you know, 10 different niches, right? Yeah. Of photographers and artists, separate accounts. And so um, there's a great collaboration there uh that that we, that we have together that we will have together and so yeah he's coming in on we're, we got him coming in on the workshop tomorrow um which to run you guys through because it's gonna be like 5 a.m time and and he's he's just outside of yeah Australia, so he's got enough of the crack to do this uh, but that'll be guys that'll be the second hour so nick and i'll do your questions talk about the normal stuff and then in the second hour john's gonna come in and, and teach this thing on facebook ads so that's that's what we got yeah and it'll be recorded it'll be in yep. the vault the marketing mm -hmm. resource vault for art storefronts members, so no worries. Yep. Um, yeah. So yeah, the other the other update that we had last week was a, another feature update was what like we, we talk about hand to hand combat, right? So yep. all this we built in. So 
We built in this tool that allows you to contact your new subscribers really easily, right? Yep. Um, your unsold carts, your your uh, uh, orders, like right after you get an order, an order thank you, and an order upsell. But more importantly, that's not that's not the uh, the special sauce. The special sauce is all of the text on the email is preloaded with the exact marketing language, the subject line, and everything that we want you to have to make sure that you do it properly and you maximize the results on it, right? So yep. that all got released. Uh, that all got released last week. And sure enough, this weekend, right, everybody starts using it and the results start coming in, you know? Uh, yep. One of our members was like, oh my goodness, I just contacted like 10 of my new subscribers from last week. He did it in like 30 seconds, right? With how simple it was. Mm -hmm. And and then sure enough, one of them emails him back, you know, because we're, the point here is guys, we're, we're trying to teach everybody that it's not about automation. It's about providing a one-on-one -on -one experience. Okay. And I, I won't rant on that right now. Cause I could go, I could go long on that, but, but yep. anyways, he sent the one-on-ones right with our language, you know, you, you customize it a little bit so that they know it is not an automated email. If they smell an automated email in there, you just burn the whole relationship probably forever. Right. And, um, Anyways, the guy gets back to him and he's like, gives him a great, you know, love following you. I found you here. Tells him where he found him. Um, so, so he got some great information and he says, and he says, yep. And I want to buy an original from you. I want to buy an original from you. So now he's he emailed it back and he's now engaging, right? This is the point where it's like, Hey, do you want to hop on a call? Do you want to get on a zoom call? Like if you're running an art gallery, right? Think about this. Like you're running an art gallery. Yes, it's online, but run the thing like an art gallery. You're the owner of the art gallery. If somebody wants to talk about a piece, they want to buy an original, you should offer to get on a Zoom call. Hey, you want me to show you the original? Let's talk about where he's going to go, provide him some value. If somebody's going to buy a two, three, four, five, ten thousand dollar original, you you get that lead. A guy wants to say that, you got to jump on and try to close that deal. So I'm excited to see that, and we'll you know we'll be coaching him on how to get that done as much as we can. But um, if the you know the results are already rolling in, there was somebody else with the new language that we have for the unsold carts, it's awesome, right? And, yeah, uh, and and I would pile on to you and say like, you know, and, and you and I have had this discussion going on for a month now, you know, with this with this new advent of video. But what we're finding, what we're finding is, you know, whatever business process you're working on, and let's just use the example here, if you're trying to get an original sold, right? Th th that can be thought of as, as a chemical reaction. And, and the chemical reaction takes a certain period of time. And, you know, left unobstructed, the first time they see your art, they join your email list, they're on your list, they're getting marketed to and all of that stuff, and they eventually buy it. That's the chemical reaction, right? The video and the personal touch is a catalyst. What it does is it takes the amount of time that that, that, that chemical reaction was going to be, and it just speeds it up. It just speeds it up. So it ends up happening in half the time. So use that abstraction of his, of his situation. A guy joined his email list, okay? He personally reached out, not with MailChimp or his ESP, a personal email reach out to him. All of a sudden they're in a conversation and he's about to turn the camera on inside of his house, show him all the originals and talk about it. That is the catalyst that took what, that reaction. Maybe it would have been nine months or a year until that guy would have bought and it just speeds it up, right? And so now it's all happening in a week, a week and a half worth of time. And, 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 and there is no higher ROI activity. He's gonna sell a couple thousand dollars. And, and, oh, there's no higher ROI? Yeah. And, and the thing is, the guy might not have ever bought it because that's how it goes. That's how it goes, right? Like, that's why when you, you know, that's why the hand-to-hand -hand combat and reaching out and, you know, providing an experience. Guys, you're selling an experience, right? You're selling a product, yes, but you're selling an experience. And the, and the experience is the relationship with you as the artist or the photographer, right? That they know you. They are connected with you. That is a part as much. It's the spirit of the piece that's hanging on their wall. It has a piece of you in it, right? It's, it's, it has a soul. It has a spirit, you know? It's not just a, you know, just a physical product that's just like game over, right? Like, no, 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 no. That's not what it does. And if, if you don't, if you don't do that, if you don't understand that, then you're missing the whole game, right? So, yeah. So it's, it's really, it's really a, a, a fascinating thing. And uh, I, I'm, I love it. Like, so yeah, so the hand to hand combat feature is what we're calling that all the all the emailing capability with all the preloaded language and all that. Um, 
yeah, so that's that's getting going. That that was released last week, and it's rocking. It's rocking now. So that's super exciting. Yep. It's, yeah. Uh, so the next things we got. The, all go clear. ahead. It's just all becoming clear, right? Like we're we're we are moving as a result of this new system we're on. We're moving not just a thousand miles an hour faster, but we're moving a thousand miles an hour faster in the right direction because we're so damn close to our customers. That's it. Yep. Exactly. It applies to everyone. It applies to everyone. You know, because you're able to iterate, you're able to understand exactly what is needed in the market for real businesses, real photographer, artist businesses executing on the front lines and then give them that. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. what is the like what is something that's going to like that they really need based on what they're doing, you know, so that yeah. it makes it faster, more efficient, more effective, you know, whether it's a feature on the website, a feature in the back end a feature for print fulfillment. It doesn't matter, right? And yeah. so it's just Nick, hold on, hold, executing. Hold on one second. Kimberly just left a comment. Kimberly, we saw that big order come through this weekend, an upload to print order. We're dying to know what the story is on that. Was that a, was that a friend that did that? Or was that a stranger that did that? We saw we saw that order come in we were like whoa um i know it was like on the, it was like a, it was like four it was like five or six days ago it was an upload to print order kimberly we want to I, talk to you about that ex explain what it is because even our most of our customers don't know will you will you talk about the whole okay so yeah so about a month or two months ago we released a new feature for the artists and photographers um where they can add an upload to print section on their website for the specific reason that Many of our members have said, you know what? People are asking me all the time, can, can I give you one of my like photos and can you give me a, get, like a canvas print made or a metal print made? Because they love the quality of the art that they bought from the artist, right? That's right. And, um, and so we've had this technology for years, for years, because we have fine art printing companies and photo labs who use our software as well, you know, for, for upload to print. Um, and, uh, and so we released that feature so that the artists could have it on their own sites and facilitate that. So we saw that Kimberly, uh, an art store member who's on here, launched the tool and she got an order. And it was a uh, you know, several hundred dollar order of somebody who uploaded one of their photos. It would look like a vacation photo and, and bought like a, can a canvas gallery wrap from her. And so the purpose of the feature is that whether you want to do that or not, right? It's we are trying to provide extra revenue sources wherever possible, you know, and it made perfect sense to us that an artist business, you know, an artist kind of owns this, this, uh, this knowledge of, you know, prints and media type and art. And the, the, the regular consumer has no idea about that. Nothing, right. And yeah. so, um, and so whether you viewed yourself as a resource for that or not, you are like people yeah. are viewing you that way anyway. And so we have given everybody, uh, uh the ability, to add that as a new revenue stream alongside the rest of their business. And we just launched it two months ago and the pandemic hit. So we really haven't gotten into the, all of the marketing tactical for that yet, and we will. But um, Kimberly's smart enough, she knows. Like you follow our art marketing calendar and you apply it to that, um, mm -hmm. to the upload a print feature. And sure enough, you know, she, she, uh, she got it. It was a mother's day promotion that, that got the sale done. You know? yeah. Hey, Kimberly, if you're going to, if you're going to show up tomorrow for office hours, we totally want to hear how you, how you got that done and, and just tell the story. I think, um, I, yeah, I think it's just amazing. Like at the end of the day, we, we keep arriving back at the epiphany that all artists and photographers are solo entrepreneurs. They need as access to as many different revenue sources as possible. And if they have those, chances are you have more opportunities for it to be a robust business, right? So, you know, think think like a portrait photographer makes money as a service business, but then also wants to sell their fine art prints and sell the portraits on the side. Like you each each one is a potential revenue source to your business. Each business is a little bit different, and you want to try to grow them all individually over the years. And so if you can operate as a like effectively a print studio for your family and friends, because you have the intimate knowledge of media types of what looks good of what's ready to hang what's the quality prints and what's not and then you can just go ahead and offer that to your family and friends like why wouldn't i want to print with somebody that can tell me what's what and and what what the right media types are and all of that stuff like it's a no-brainer if, if if you want it if you want it you don't have to have it but yeah if you want it yeah yeah so you know something else i should mention that on saturday so we had a really cool session on saturday we Pat, patrick and i for the first time went live on Zoom with non-art storefronts members, okay? And we emailed it out 
Uh, it's If you go on our Facebook feed, you should be able to scroll down and even watch it. But it was the first time that we actually did like a live workshop with non-art storefronts members. It wasn't like our normal workshops. We weren't actually working on business problems, but what we were doing was just talking uh, to a lot of awesome uh, painters and photographers that were on there, really high quality people that were at like, you know, talking about where they were at with their business, you know? Yep. Uh, we had people who have been around for a while. We had people who were brand new um, and they were asking about, you know, the platform, whether it was a good fit for them, what they thought was a good fit, what they thought wasn't. And we were clarifying all sorts of stuff. Lots of really, really good questions. Lots of, lots of misconceptions about who we are and what we do that we cleared up, you know? So that was great. And for anyone listening that wants to, you know, uh, attend that, like, first of all, you can go back and watch the other one, but we're going to be doing another one on Wednesday. All right. We're going to be doing another one on Wednesday for non-art storefronts members. Same time. That time worked for you. Nine uh, Pacific, 11 uh, Central. Pat? Yep. 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 12 Eastern. Yep. Yeah. So that'll happen this Wednesday. And we will uh, make sure you're subscribed to our email list because we will email out the Zoom link uh, or follow us on Facebook too because you'll get notified when we're live. But we will email out the Zoom link and we will post it so that you can literally hop on and you know, talk to us live and tell us exactly what's going on with you, what your questions are, where you're at, how you're thinking about your business, what your most pressing problem is right now and stuff like that. So did you have fun doing that one? I thought it was so informative for yeah. us to actually step outside and because we're always working with our own customers, the actual members on the workshops and doing like real hardcore business consulting and going over the counter, but get going way up the, up, up, up the chain. Right. And talking to people who haven't actually started executing on art marketing and who don't have proper art gallery websites and hearing where they're at, they're just at a completely different stage in the process. It's just way earlier, you know? Yep. Yep. It's, it's, it's amazing. You know, Carol, Carol brought up an interesting point here in a comment. It's where can I find the announcements and explanations of all these new features on your website? We probably should have like a one page, um, one page log of all the new features so that people can just go back and scan them. Cause you know, we realize you get busy and you can't, keep we up. used to, do you know yeah. what we used to, we just couldn't keep up. There's just too many. I mean, we're literally releasing something new every single day. I'm not kidding. I know. We really, like when you, when you actually go up and down the entire stack of the all in one solution, there are backend features that are happening like every day. There are front end features. There are improvements to the art marketing calendar, improvements, new workshops being announced, right? Like, yep. I mean, if you really go through it all, it's like, it's just being iterated on every single day. It's like on Friday, you just decided the Tuesday workshop is Facebook paid ads with John Lechner. Like technically that's like a new feature. It's a, it, it, like, we're having like, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't have to go into it. You already talked about it, but, yep. but like, these things are being added like literally on a, on a, like almost an hourly basis. So um, yeah, so we had one and it, we, we were constantly behind on it. It was just constant, constant, constant. So um, we probably could do something better on that, but Hey, you know what? We're going live all the time like this. And we're talking about all the new announcements and we're also talking about all the announcements on every workshop too. So, you know, we, we, uh, we, I, I'm constantly referring to them if there's new updates. Patrick is as well, depending on where you know what it is and what we're doing. So if you're if you're staying ahead on all of that, you're going to be up to speed. We're also announcing them on small wins all the time. I'm assuming that Carol, the Carol that was asking that, is an art storefronts member already. Yeah, yeah, just just okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out in the the few remaining minutes and hours of margin time we have in our lives now that we're yeah. like 24 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like we're so busy right now that that I'd love to make a list that that's easy to see, but at the same time, like I'm just all I care about is executing for the customer. Like shipping, 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 delivering more value for our customers and doing that at the fastest pace possible because that's that's what, you know, that's if 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 right now during this time when we we have unprecedented demand and we're busier than ever, um, we can't have like an up-to-date feature list and I will accept that so long as we are shipping amazing updates all the time, you know? Yeah, that's the better. We're delivering, yeah, exactly. We're delivering real value to the customers, to the members. Um, and that's the most important thing. No way. Dustin just left a comment, sold two shark prints last month. Yes. Yes, yeah. Dustin. So Dustin, Dustin came up. Leave a comment and tell us how. 
What yes, computers, obviously, but how? Do you, what, what Dustin, market that's awesome. Yeah. What well, do you and it, if you remember Dustin, if I remember correctly, he's been a member for a few months, and he came on one of the workshops. He's like, I haven't gotten a sale yet, you know. And so we kind of coached him through that. And um, yeah, he's got great white shark photography. Yeah. Pretty pretty amazing stuff. I mean, it's just sometimes I look at those photos and I'm like, man, like you got in the water with those guys? Terrifying. Totally terrifying. Um, but I, I just, I'm so pumped. I'm pumped for Dustin. That's awesome. Yep. Is, doesn't it feel great when you have, you know, like photographers and artists come on the platform, they're new businesses, they don't really have a lot of traction yet, and they just get their first pop, they get their first traction? Because you know what that is? You know what that is to me? Like, it may not mean as much to them, to, or like to you, Dustin, than it, as it does to me and to Patrick. And I'll tell you why. Because we know that this is the beginning. This is just the beginning. Everybody wants to be like, you know, I wish I got, you know, I got 50 subscribers and, a, and two sales from this one tactic, but I really wish I would have gotten more and all that. And it's like, hey, 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 no, 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 no. The fact that you got it done and you made it happen means this is the beginning. This is, you're, you're in like, you're, you're in like, like the beginning stages of your future. And, you know, that's the signal that you got it done and you know how to get it done and you're following the marketing and the coaching and all that stuff. And it could not be more rewarding to see. Yep. It just, it's like watching your children, your students. It's like, you know what I mean? Your children or your students or whatever actually like making it happen. It's just awesome. Wow. Water plus ink. And, and by the way, because you're on Instagram, I, I, I know your name, but I'm going to refer to you as your, your handle, your, your at mention. Uh, I launched the last week in March, right? And I've had over 1,800 in sales and 80 new subscribers already. Yeah, that's because you are working your butt off. I see you You're live. On, I see you live on Instagram all the time. Um, yeah, and what I would say too for the residue, for, for, the residue of success from executing on marketing that is literally, yeah. and, and, and it's not any more difficult than that. It really is not. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, no, water no, plus no, 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 no. Water plus ink. Stay on the handle. Stay on the handle. Okay, fine. <laughs> water plus ink. Water plus ink is going to do extremely well. She has such a bright future ahead of her. And it's super exciting. Um, and she, I, I saw a comment earlier. She said she hasn't been able to follow the art marketing calendar as much because she's getting so much business, you know, from her lives and what she's doing. And what I say is keep doing it. Whatever is working, just keep going and pour gasoline on that. And don't worry about the rest. You will get to that stuff when you get a chance. But strike while the iron's hot right now. You are, you, you, you found something. It's resonating. Uh, your work is amazing too. It doesn't surprise me. And uh, just just put put the gas on that. Yep, yep. And 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 have the perspective in your mind that you're going to be at this for the next three to five years, and then probably by like year seven, year eight, you're going to have these seriously robust, incredibly healthy business. And you'll be like, it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't even that bad. Like keep grinding. Same with you, Dustin. Like especially when you're just getting started. You know, it is so hard, right? Like it is so hard. You're like moving along, like so little progress. You feel like you're just getting kicked in the teeth at all the time and then all of a sudden you know you get a little love you get a couple of sales right and the and the inspiration and the motivation tanks get filled all the way back up and then you just keep grinding and it's just rinse and repeat it is literally just yeah rinse and, repeat. and it ends up once you have the perspective of how long it takes it ends up being so fun because then you get to a place where it's like year six year seven year eight and you're rolling you know you're having like big big wins like huge wins and you're like we are right now and you're just going yes it just it, it just feels so and, good. So. And then and then you know what you're doing at that point? You're passing on your wisdom down to the other newbies who think it's a get rich quick or passive income and cheating. That's that's how it goes. Only the people who have done it can talk about it, right? But everyone who's done it will tell you like you got to grind it out and it gets easier, right? But like yeah. you but like the you know the first couple of years in any business, any industry, any business, any entrepreneurship venture there's no shortcut. There's no shortcut to doing the work and building the business, right? It, yeah. Steve Jobs says three to five years to build anything. Gary Vaynerchuk says 10 years, right? I love that Gary. I love that Gary says 10 years. 10 years is the right way of saying it because it stops the person at year three from going, you said three years. You said, three, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's like, you said three years. It's three years, but I, I, don't have a, I don't have a Lamborghini yet. You know, like, what are you talking about? It's like, no, no, no. Like, it's all the long. It's all the long game, and um, and there's no way to shortcut it. Yeah, there is. There is absolutely none. And you know, it's like 
I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. I'm going to ask the question and then I'll wait. I've got all the time. All right. I'm live 24 seven. Okay. I'll wait. Go and tell me the person that started a business and in year one is making over six figures, you know, just put a down payment on a new Mercedes and remodeled their house. Like it's just not the way that it works. It takes years of hard work and grinding. The best part about photographers and artists is it's not like you're like, you know, you go into accounting, right? And you're like, I hate accounting. I'm going to change. You're sort of born a photographer and artist. You don't really change. It doesn't go away. You're going to have this business for the rest of your life. And, you know, we're living a lot longer. So if you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, there's, there's a lot of time to be selling art in their 80s even. So what a wonderful thing to like know that you're going to grind and build. It's like you're building an annuity almost, you know? For sure. That's exactly what you're doing. You know, you're building something that like that'll that'll generate future cash flows for you, you know, and it's your brand and you own it 100 percent. You know, like it's a really cool and, and it's it's got to be rewarding. I mean, are you kidding me? Right. Like you get to just like sell a creative product that you produce. Like that's a pretty cool, pretty cool situation if you can make it happen. Right. Yep. I love it. John, I love John, it. Lecter, John Lecter came on. He says it's definitely five plus years to build a solid business. Um, morning, John. We told everybody about your workshop. We hyped it up tomorrow, so you got to come with your A game. Everyone's all fired up about it now. Um, but we let everybody know to, to to be there for sure, um, and to thank you for for coming online so early. Because I mean, I think it's like four in the morning for him right now. John doesn't sleep; he's a machine. Um, yeah, the perspective piece is just so so important. So important. You say hi, Higgins. Yeah. So, all right. What else do we have going on here? So yeah, a reminder about the work. We have a Wednesday workshop for non art storefronts members. Um, it's a zoom call in order to, uh, talk about where you're at, you know, with your business, what you're thinking about, see if we can help you. We'll tell you straight up if we can, or we think we can't, um, and you know, answer any other questions or it's almost like we're, we're almost doing discovery calls a little bit, you know, and you know, what was so interesting. We had a hundred, what did we have 125 people were on the one on Saturday, right? But as usual, only about 20% of the people, you know, put their video camera on and, um, and ask us a question and talk to us. The rest just, you know, they just stay there. They just sit and, um, and, and observe and, and learn. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Right. They, they might chat. Uh, we've got, there's a little chat thing in zoom allows you to ask a question there. Um, if you don't want to actually like turn your microphone and, and speak up, um, yeah. but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great way to, to get questions asked. So that's Wednesday at nine Pacific, 11, uh, central and 12 Eastern with Patrick and I, so we will email that out. Um, yeah. Uh, and then the last reminder too, uh, we extended our pandemic sale, this big sale that we were running in April, we decided to extend it. So it's extended in May, request a demo. If you are interested in joining spots are filling up, we don't want it. We, we ran out of spots last month. We couldn't do it. Um, and that is the God's honest truth. And, uh, we want to make sure that you guys, Hey Higgins, how you doing buddy? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we want to make sure that, uh, everybody gets in. So I'm trying to tell everybody early, like get your request a demo in and uh, make sure that you're not waiting until the last minute. Yep, and our store friends customers mandatory. John Lechner is going to be teaching you guys Facebook ads tomorrow. Uh, you can you can pepper them with some questions, uh, and you know, despite my best advice to not run cold ads, he will he will certainly speak on that. Um, so we're looking forward to that tomorrow. Uh, what else do we have? I can't remember. Last thing is is that we have the we've got the uh, the exclusive uh, print fulfillment discount going on for our store friends members through May tenth, which is Mother's Day. So. Um, uh, that's, uh, so for, for the art store friends members, make sure that you, uh, take advantage of that. You notate that date in case you want to run any last minute sale, uh, or buy any prints for yourself at the discounted price. Um, and so that way you can save money or, you know, pay it forward to your own customer and try to use that to generate some, some extra last minute sales before mother's day. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Which is coming quick, coming quick. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got one more thing too. I got one more thing. Um, guess what's getting, uh, guess what's uh, going live this week? Huh. Custom branded packaging, you know, for the automated fulfillment with uh, graphic dimensions. Nice. So they get pretty their, awesome. They get their own branding on the box or whatever on the order. You get your own, your own logo. You get your logo. There's a place where you upload a specific uh, dimensions of, it's like a two to one ratio. Mm -hmm. um, and you will upload that image of presumably your logo. 
And, uh, but you could have, you could even put something like, you know, if you wanted to put your phone number, like a return address or whatever on there, you could, you can do it however you want. But um, on your orders, they will be printed and put on the exterior of the boxes just to give it again this is all about the customer experience and the branded experience like you're running a real business here you know um and i want i want you to look as professional as possible you know um when when you're when you're running this thing so um so that's really cool so that's that's going live this week for for anybody that's on the automated fulfillment with graphic dimensions and i expect we'll have bay photo on that very soon too i can't wait to see what that looks like is it a sticker yeah, it's a sticker on the outside of the box. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Amazing. Yeah. And they'll just slap it on there for you. That's rad. Uh, they just slap it right on there. You don't have to do it. You just upload the thing and, you know, every one of your orders will have it on there. You know, you get better. One iteration at a time. One yep. I mean, these are the, this is the thing, right? Like, these things are just happening. They're happening all over. Um, and we're constantly, you know, just finding ways to improve every part of the stack, every part of the all-in-one solution. So they're coming through fast and Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. We love it. All right. You want to leave it there? Yes. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Hope to see you soon. We'll be live in short order. And if you're on Facebook, can you like our Facebook page? That's the easiest way to get notified uh, that we're live. Same same, same too for Instagram. Um, I feel like we're, we're, we're getting a handle on this a little bit better. We actually pulled this one off with no glitches. Pretty smooth. Did we really? Did yeah. we really? I That might be the first. I mean, you look like, you look like you're underwater with your video quality because... Nick's entire household is streaming high definition teaching right now. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Um, all right. I'm going to go jump in the pool. It's like 90 degrees. Here. All right. Cool. All right. Have Bye, fun. Guys. See you guys on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday, guys.